Hi everyone and thanks for clicking on the button to watch. I hope you find this useful. This week, once again, I'm joined by two guests. We've got Chris, who is our Deputy County Commissioner for Programme, and Carol, who is our Deputy County Commissioner for People, who are going to tell you about some of the things we're doing to support the scouting, particularly at this time. Before we get to that though, I want to tell you about the couple of things that I know that are happening in different districts around the county. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to Evie. Evie wrote to me this week and she told me about the brilliant things she's been doing at First Winchcombe Scouts in Tewkesbury. She and the Scouts there have been having online meetings, they've been writing to elderly people, particularly those that are self-isolating, offering friendship and support. And also, recently, they've taken part in a virtual tour of the Smithsonian Museum. That sounds fantastic. Thanks, Evie, and to all of the people involved in helping keep the First Winchcombe Scouts engaged with scouting at this time. This week, I also know that 41st Cheltenham are taking part in a virtual group camp. The whole group coming together to celebrate scouting, but virtually uh, social distancing. They're going to be celebrating lots of different things together throughout the weekend, and I hope to be able to drop into them on Saturday morning to meet as many of them as possible. Of course, I'll only be able to do that virtually. There's lots of great things across the county. I encourage you to share them with each other. And let me know about some of them as well, so I can share them in these videos. It's great to have some great new stories and find out what's going on. You can find lots of ideas for what you can do at our website, gscouts.org.uk forward slash coronavirus. There's loads of ideas there that we're collating from all of those places, including Facebook, including what we're seeing in other counties and other districts over the borders. Do visit that website every so often to see the latest news and the latest ideas that we've shared. We're still trying to progress with training and validation, but rather than me tell you about it, I'm going to get Carol to tell you about our Deputy County Commissioner for People. Carol. Thank you, Mark. I'd like to just take a couple of minutes to tell you what's available for training and validations within our county during this time. Firstly, training. As a county, we have successfully piloted new online mandatory safeguarding training taking the existing materials and turning it into a fantastic interactive online classroom. Dates for signing up will soon be launched on our website, gscouts.org.uk forward slash coronavirus. You can still do the e-learning mandatory safeguarding along with mandatory safety and GDPR on the scouts.org.uk website. But please remember to print off your certificates to enable it to be registered on Compass. We are also as a county in a position to pilot Module 12A, the quality programme, as an online classroom. Once the pilot has been undertaken, again watch out for dates on our G Scouts website. Other modules that are have e-learning available can also be found on the scouts.org.uk website. Secondly, validations. During these current circumstances, we have a window of opportunity to undertake validation of completed training modules. Our County Commissioner Mark has produced a Google Hangout guidance for training advisors to use to set up digital validations. Personally, I've done 10 sessions now and I am encouraged by the adults that I have engaged with as they embrace the changes going on around them, not only in how they scout currently, but some are our key workers. Others are juggling working at home, becoming teachers to their children, and importantly, keeping family units happy and content. I salute you all. Those that I have spoken to have relished the chance to validate modules and chat through how they can continue to undertake their training via the various e-learning packages available, and over the next couple of weeks, by the county's online classroom options. If you are a TA, please look at the guidance for digital validations on our website, gscouts.org.uk forward slash coronavirus. If you need validating on your modules, feel free to contact your training advisor or myself at dcc.people at gscouts.org.uk. Finally, from me, a big thank you for continuing to undertake your training by whatever means that is good for you. 
while still providing, where possible, the fantastic opportunities for our young people to also continue their scouting journey. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Carol. As you can see, we're really keen to help you continue with your training and validation. And as quickly as we can, we will develop more online classroom modules, which will be engaging and enable you to complete some of your learning as much as possible. As we develop these, we will make them available via our website. Some of you will have also recently received emails from headquarters about completing your training for compliance, in particular around safety and safeguarding training. These important parts of training are a core part of how we keep young people safe and make sure that we are doing the very best by keeping everybody safe together. If you have recently received one of these emails, please don't ignore it. You will continue to receive emails, communications from all different parts of scouting until that learning is completed. It might only take you 20 to 30 minutes to do it, but grab a cuppa, click on the link and please do complete that learning. Once you've completed it, all you have to do is send your certificate off to your training advisor or your local training manager and they'll update the records on Compass for you. Please do see if you can get this done at this time. Next week is St George's Day. I know that many of us are going to be missing out on parades that we enjoy taking part in and being with others around districts and around the county. I want to tell you about two things that we're doing to celebrate St George's Day this week. Firstly, on Thursday at 8pm, once again, I hope you will join with me on standing on the doorstep and clapping for our, our carers, the NHS and all the essential workers out there that are keeping us safe and healthy at this time. This week, it being the 23rd of April, I'm hoping that you will wear your uniform. Together, we can stand proud in our smart uniforms, look out onto the streets, applauding all of those essential workers for doing all that they're doing at this time. I'd really appreciate it if you could join us. This week, Connor sent me this video of what he's been doing um, on his doorstep. <laughs> Sling. Thanks Connor. Also on Sunday the 26th of April at 11am I'm hoping that you'll join with me to do a renewal of our promises. Together as a county we're going to come together and share that ability to renew our promises together. It will be for all ages, for beavers, for cubs, for scouts, for explorers and for network members as well as us as adults. I'll be sharing more details in an email over the weekend but in the meantime, just keep 11 o'clock on Sunday the 26th of April free if you possibly can. We'll wear our uniforms together, we'll have lots of young people involved and we'll live stream it to you either via YouTube or if you don't have access to the internet, you can dial in using a telephone. We want to make it as accessible for you as is possible. Let's get as many of us renewing our promises and celebrating St George's Day together on Sunday the 26th. One other thing we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks is our camp, our camp at home. Rather than me say any more about it, I'm gonna get Chris to tell you a little bit more about it. Chris, I pass the necker on to you. Thank you, Mark. So, the We Will Survive camp. It's taking place on the 8th of May. It's a chance for you to get out in your garden, pitch a tent, build a blanket for in your house, under your bed, somewhere, grab your sleeping bag, go somewhere to go, and let's get on it. But before you get to there, you need to just like do a couple of things. First of all, you need to sign up onto the website. The event details are on the web page, which should be about here. You need to make sure you've packed your bag, got all your kit ready to go, and then come along and join us. There'll be some uh, opening ceremonies, the times which can be also found on the website. And then we will hopefully see you all there having a great camp with the whole of the county sleeping out in their tents. So uh, come along. Over to you, Mark. Thanks, Chris. Really appreciate that. So that's our We Will Survive camp on the 8th of May. At this time, nearly 300 of you have already signed up. Don't forget to sign up. We want to know how many people are taking part. We've got 300 signed up, but I wonder if we can get to 3,000 by this time next week. The only thing stopping us 
is people knowing about it. So I ask you to go and tell people about it as best as possible. So I'm nearly at the end of this week's video and I want to say a huge thank you to a few people, in particular to Lauren and Louise, who did their necker flip. Did you see it on Facebook? Yes. Thank you to them for doing this. Now, I challenge the district commissioners and all of our assistant county commissioners to have a go as well. Why don't you have a go at doing the necker flip? All you have to do is put it on the floor and get it on your neck. It's quite easy, he says. Get flipping and get posting. Thank you so much to Randwick Scouts who sent me this scarf for this week and to Selsley Scouts who sent me this scarf for this week as well. A big thank you to those. I've now got no more scarves to wear, so I encourage you to get in contact and send me one of your scarves and I can wear it and show solidarity for your group at this time. Once again, please do share this video with as many people as you can. There are some people that don't access Facebook, there are some people that don't access social media. They will only know about this sometimes if you've let them know. It would be great if as many people can share in this experience together. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and stay home. See you again soon.